Be We're really? actually ending the show on Jobber of the Week. Yes. Okay, fair. So it is the first time that anyone has ever heard this, besides us. It is time for Vinny's Power Rankings. Three, three, two, two, one, one. Time for Vinny's Power Rankings. Yeah, how about that? We take care of you when you wow, show up. Wow, what a guy. I've been him. I've been waiting to play that for literally weeks. Wow. Yeah, he's been really upset that he hasn't been able to play. Oh, man, you guys are fantastic. Go for it, buddy. You guys are fantastic. Well, at number five, by the way, we I just want to let you guys know that you guys can look at these power rankings on our brand new website, the Two Sweet Wrestling Two er, Two Sweet Podcast dot com. Yep. Check these power rankings they're out. In, they're in the blog section. If anyone wants to, I and might change that. Many more to come. You know, many mm-hmm. more to come. Yes. Yep. So Three every week. So this week's power rankings is the top five heel turns. heel turns in WWE. In WWE. Well, no, 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 not in WWE. Number two is not in WWE. Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm wrong. Yeah, so, right. yeah. So, and number five is not in WWE. It's technically. It's, it's under the umbrella. It, it's continue NXT. with your thing. So, number five is one of my favorites, actually. It's the uh, Tommaso Ciampa turning on oh, wow. Johnny Gargano. Me and you had a discussion about this. This is one of my favorites. I guess oh, it's I know it's, That's why me and you, because me and him have gone over this. I mean, him go. I help him a little bit with this when uh, he asked me yes. questions about it. Since this was my uh, one of my favorites, since it was yeah. so fresh on the brain. Yeah, he put it in his number one, and I was like, "Well, it's great. I love it. Trust me. I'm one hundred percent down for it. It's just you haven't seen the ending of the storyline. So I, just, I just think it went down so perfectly. Oh, it was, per- it was perfect so heel turn, perfect. But I feel like a heel turn, you have to see the end of the heel turn too. Because all these ones you've seen. The yeah, no, I I, yeah. I agree. I mean, I just think I just think knowing oh. these two superstars, you're just gonna see. Oh, Dev, this can easily move into top. Yeah, top three. You're just gonna see yeah. a great match between these two, and however long they want to draw this on for, I mean, they can go on forever if they it's, want, really, because these two will kill it. So I'm go I'm for just it. excited. Go like continue. Uh, yeah. Number four, we have the uh, Seth Rollins selling out on the Shield. One of the great, mm. one of the greatest. If you if you want to do this list, one of the greatest like stable breakups. Yeah, this was, was absolutely. This yeah. might be number one, honestly. It could yeah, be number, if not number two, definitely. Yeah, it's definitely one or two. This is in, in my book, honestly, is, is number one just because of the fact that this was like the Shield dominated for so long, and then they were on a roll. They were they beat at that time when Seth turned. They were just coming off of a huge win against Evolution. The reformed Evolution. The reformed Evolution of Same Batista, people, Randy Orton. No Ric Flair. The, the returning Batista and Blue the Tista. aging, Tista. The aging Blue Randy Tista. Orton and the COO. Randy Orton's Triple only H. 35. Like. Well, obviously he's gotten older he's, since his since his since since he started yeah, the business full at like 19. Now. Yeah. <laughs> he invested in full sleeves. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but no, this was, this, was an, this was great because, I mean, Seth Rollins literally sold out for the authority, uh, cha- put a chair to Roman Reigns and Dean Ambrose's back, and then they had it. Like you said, the payoff of that was great. Seth Rollins ended up becoming a, a super uh, – all of them really became stars in their own except for Dean. Dean's kind of he was a WWE he champion. was a WWE champion, a solid but, one. but really though Seth and Roman oh, really yeah. got the biggest push out of all of this. But really, it was it was a it was a great heel turn for Seth. Um, number three, this one is really this one's my personal all t- my my real number one is Shawn Michaels turning on Mario Gennetti. It I was like, I like I have a real number one and then the actual number one. Like, yeah, yeah. You know the editor kind of took over a little bit. You know, mm. and uh, he just. He, he just couldn't keep his greasy palms off my uh, my story. I can tell the real story of what happened, but I won't. He can we just continue? He with couldn't it. keep his greasy palms off my Shawn power Michaels, rankings. Marty Shawn Michaels, Gennetti. Marty Jannetty. Uh, this was this was just fantastic. I'm about to put your head through a shit, uh, what you window. I'm about to put your head through a barbershop window. Uh, are you? Talking. Are you though? No, you're not. Continue. Okay, so yeah, <laughs> so Marty Jannetty got his head thrown through the barbershop window. Brutus of Barber Beefcake's barbershop. Back in the day, fantastic setup for this. They, the Rockers, were one of the top tag teams in that time in that era. They were, they were good. They were good. They, they just never won titles. But really, though, the main thing that came out of this was the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. Oh, yeah. This started uh, the the great one of the greatest superstars of all time. And it also started one of the worst things they do with tag teams now. Is who's the marginetti of the group? Yeah, that's that is true. Uh, now, now we move on to yours. I guess you, you know what? You just take this. You take the final. Fine, I'll take it. You don't take it in my power rankings. Okay. Saves mine. <laughs> so number two is Hulk Hogan turning his back on the WWE and appearing. What, what are you looking at me like that for? I'm waiting for you to talk about what, what you're saying. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> Unbelievable. So it's Hulk Hogan turning his back on WWE and appearing and wrestling for WCW, the rival promotion. It was 
uh, it was so it was so weird to see Hulk Hogan, skinny Hulk Hogan in WCW. He was he was he was a slim. Were you there? I mean, I watched it. I watched it live. And then he, and then, he when then he really turned heel in uh, 1996 too. Yeah, when he turned on Macho Man. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. I- Sorry. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. I like, oh, oh, no. like mine was solid and then the Kool-Aid man jumped out. <laughs> like Oh yeah. It was, oh no. No, it was Oh yeah. Oh no. What? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Continue. And then No, uh I mean the NWO or the Outsiders was uh they were putting a hurting on on Macho Man Randy Savage and Hulk Hogan came out and uh started clearing house and you know he was like <laughs> the pencil off okay, <laughs> so Hogan came out and he thought he was going to be there to save Macho Man, and he was not. He was not. He joined forces with I the dropped, Outsiders. I dropped the leg. One, two, three, brother. This wasn't even a match, Hogan. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, unbelievable. Check, check the stream for me. Unbelievable. I just, I just like to like to make sure it's there. It's there. Yeah, we're there. Good. Does it thirty-one viewers or is that two? Thirty-one viewers. We have two live right now. Oh, mm. we have thirty-one people who viewed it. That's yeah. good. Mm. Positivity, power of positivity. Hulk Hogan, though, turning his back on WWE and Macho Man Randy Savage. Number one is Vincent Kenny, M- the Vincent most obvious, Kennedy McMahon. The most obvious. I one. think that is the best heel turn, though. Vincent I Kennedy McMahon say. turning on. Who did he turn on? Stone Cold and the entire company. He turned. He was the biggest heel for like five what? years. Yeah. The fact that he I was the biggest, was, more for five years. I want you guys to talk about since this was your number one. Both I mean, of you know your number. The ones. fact that you're arguing that he's not number one is ridiculous. Tell me why. Let's Go see. Ahead. Okay, fine, fine. I'll do this. All right. So he essentially made two of the biggest stars in wrestling history by yes. turning heel with yes. the Stone Cold with the, with the Stone Cold with Stone Cold and The Rock. Right. He literally the best few one of the best feuds ever with him and Stone Cold when they had three actual fights. There were two actual fights, and it would lead to essentially what started the Attitude Era. Stone Cold brought it in, and then he rocket shipped it into it, and now he rocket strapped it. There it is. <laughs> strapped a rocket on it, and he's essentially one of the best heels of all time, and he didn't even wrestle that much. That's why it's number one. Okay, I agree. I, the, you, there you go. I, no, don't no, get it. Don't I'm get not upset. Mad, I'm not he mad at him, but he, he, he I agree. Was literally, I explained it to him. What do you earlier. mean you're not mad? You did the 